everybody, welcome to my makeup corner. Welcome y'all, welcome. Today we're doing my nighttime routine. What I do, how I remove my makeup, the products I use. Um, I've had a couple of questions regarding this, so I'm trying to answer all of those questions all in one. In case you're wondering what I use for my face at the end of the day to make sure that I don't get any breakouts or any reaction or whatever to my skin. That's basically that. Let's get into it. So I start off by um, taking off my my lashes of course. Today I'm wearing lashes. Today I'm wearing a lot of makeup. So it's going to be a double cleanse day. Um, this here is the Micellar Water by Garnier. I like the oil infused cleansing water. It's for dry and sensitive skin and my skin is dry and partially sensitive. So I take a Q-tip and I'm going to my Micellar Water and then I just rub against the lashes. For those who are just pulling off their lashes, I know I'm also guilty of that sometimes. It's not cool. So I just keep rubbing until it comes off nicely. And now I'm going to go in with my Clinique cleansing balm. It's just a normal balm that turns into a very oily type of thing. Just take some and then rub it in my hands a little bit and then all over my skin. And then I wash it off with lukewarm water. My tap has both of them, so you just turn it to like nice lukewarm to the warmer side type of water, then you just wash it off. Done. And then we pet dry. I didn't do it on my lips, so same concept. Just to make sure all my makeup is finished. So I have to go in with a cotton pad and my micellar water. Because you realize just how much makeup is left. Look at that. I go through about two or three cotton pads a day. Just cleaning wiping depending on the amount of makeup I've had applied that day or what type of day it was long day you know matte waterproof foundation so I wipe as much as I can please be gentle with your skin especially around your eyes I have two different face washes the one is the oil control lemon face wash um, from the Himalaya brand and then this is um, almost like a lotion type of a wash cream um, the fairness wash cream from the Himalaya herbal brand as well I like to use the, this one in winter uh, because it's very soft doesn't dry out my skin you just wet it in your hands and then you apply on your face and you rub nicely. I like the 60 second rule where you just spend time rubbing or massaging and all of that, just getting all the makeup off your neck, hair and your forehead where the wig is or what if your hair doesn't matter. Make sure everything is nicely. 
And then you wash it off. Once you're done washing all of it off, uh, like bi-weekly um, period, I go in with my aloe vera omega-6 facial scrub. I'm actually looking for a chemical exfoliant or scrub that doesn't have the bowls or anything. So if you know where I can find such a thing, let me know because I'm really in search of it and I cannot seem to find it in this number here because it's really good for um, for your skin and stuff. So I also like this one because it's very gentle exfoliant. So again, you apply, make sure your face is slightly a little bit damp. And then you just scrub at least two times or two once a week. So just make sure that all the dead skin is off. dry and then I go in with my aloe vera toner and I use the toner every day the toner is just it helps like remove the last bits of those micro makeup stuff that I couldn't find or I whatever still I didn't remove from my skin um, on a cotton pad and it also sets you know um, a nice base for what you're going to apply next on your skin so I just wipe just go over everything again and I like the aloe vera products because they don't have alcohol in them they're nice and soothing I don't like alcohol products on my skin so I try to see whatever makeup stuff you've missed somehow in this process so we go all over with all just think about it We've used, what have we used? We've used the scrub and all of that and you could still miss some makeup on your skin. So you have to make sure, see, there you go, again. So you just have to make sure that all the makeup is literally off and most of it is all on your forehead. forehead. That's why most people get pimples on your forehead because we, we neglected and here in your hairline. Just make sure everything is totally off this just allows your skin to breathe nicely see now we've got all the makeup off all the makeup is off now that that's sorted um, I'm going to go in now nice basic -y. and I like to use this a bit bougie or um, this L'Oreal hydrating smoothing serum it's one of my favorite it's expensive but it works just apply it on my skin and then I know it's a long process and then I go in with my vitamin E oil just a little bit on my finger it would also help you give like a dropper for it like I do for the for the serum in your hand vitamin E is very good for my skin in winter oh it saves it from dryness because I can get extremely dry and then I also apply my night cream my aloe vera plus omega 3 and 6 Night cream by the Click Skin Care Collect. And I don't really take a lot because I need to moisturize more on top of that. But this is winter, so the more I moisturize my skin, this routine has actually made my skin feel so much better. And then I just apply in those areas that is prone to really dry up more than the rest of the skin. Just reinforce. And then I go finish off with my lip therapy from this camp. Lip gloss. I 
we remove the wig so yep simple the face is nice and shiny it feels so good after a long day of wearing makeup <sighs> and this dryness y'all and this dryness so that's basically it um oh i usually um, apply a good mask and also at least two to three times i mean twice a week and so when i scrub and all of that before i put my serum on i go in with a nice mask really good for your skin thank you guys so much for watching all the products i've used will be listed in the description box below i will also make a note to mention just where i got them and that's the nighttime routine